In this video, we will practice using the nearest neighbor algorithm to find Hamiltonian circuits. A typical problem will look something like this. Use the nearest neighbor algorithm, starting at A, to find a Hamiltonian circuit for this graph. Notice that unlike some other methods that we use to find circuits, here we have a specific starting point. We must start at A. So let's remember how the nearest neighbor algorithm works. From the starting vertex, choose the edge with the smallest cost and use that as the first edge in your circuit. We continue in this way, always choosing the lowest cost edge from whatever vertex we happen to be at. We keep going until we visited every vertex, and only then do we return to the starting point. So let's see how this works here. Remember that our starting point is A. So from A, of all the different edges that we can see, which one has the lowest cost? Well, it's not too hard to see that it's the edge from A to B. So we use that edge, and now we're at B. Now we say to ourselves, what's the lowest cost edge from B? Well, it's the edge from B to E, which costs 13. Now we're over at E. So of the edges that are remaining, what's the lowest cost edge? Well, the lowest cost edge leaving E is the one that would take us right back to B. But remember that we want a Hamiltonian circuit. We don't want to visit any vertex more than once. So we eliminate the edge from E to B. We don't want to follow that edge again. We might consider the edge from E to A, because that edge costs 20. But we've already been to A, and again, we only want to return to our starting vertex once we've visited all of the other vertices. So in fact, the choice that we want to make is to go from E down to C, following the edge that costs 29. Now we're at C, and in fact, we really only have one choice. We've been to every vertex except for D. So regardless of which algorithm we're using at this point, we know we're going to want to go from C to D. And then finally, now that we've visited every vertex, we'll go back to A. So here's our Hamiltonian circuit using the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at A. But what happens if we change the starting point? Here's the same graph, but now we're being asked to use the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at B to find a Hamiltonian circuit. And what we'll see is that we don't get the same answer. So our starting point is now B. From B, what's the lowest cost edge? Well, it's the edge from B to E costing 13. From E, what's the lowest cost edge that wouldn't take us to a vertex that we've already been to? Well, in this case, that's the edge from E to A, costing 20. Now we're at A, so we're looking for the lowest cost edge leaving A, but again, we don't want to go back to any vertex we've already been to, so we're going to go from A down to D, following that edge that costs 22. And again, we're running out of choices, and in fact, the only vertex we haven't yet been to is C, so we'll go to C, and then finally we'll return to our starting point of B. So here's the nearest neighbor algorithm result if we start at B. So when you're using the nearest neighbor algorithm, you want to be very careful to pay attention to the starting point, 